Good morning and welcome to our Wednesday morning devotion. As you may have followed, every first Wednesday of the month is the prayer time that we spend together um, praying for ourselves, praying for each other, and praying for our community and our world. And so this morning, I welcome you to find a comfortable seat and join with me as I lift prayers up. You're welcome to join in in silence or speak your prayers out loud wherever you may be this morning. And so hear these words as an opening prayer. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help comes from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us pray. God of might, God of power, in you we move and have our being. We thank you for this beautiful morning that you have made. You remind us of your love through the sun that is shining upon us. You remind us of your grace that you keep pouring upon us. And so we adore you, Lord Jesus. We invite you in our presence wherever we are, that as we leave these prayers before you, we trust that your blessings will flow upon us. And so with this, Lord, we praise your name. Lord, as we adore you and praise your holy name, you ask us to confess our sins to you because you are merciful and grateful to forgive us and wash us clean and make us white as snow. And so at this time, we confess our sins to you who is merciful in all things. Let us confess our sins. Lord, we are thankful that you hear our, our sins and ready to forgive us through your son, Jesus Christ, that washes us away and make us clean through the strength that you give, that we who are weak may become strong because of your love for us. And so we give you praise. Lord, this morning we surround to you the thanksgiving of hearing our sins and forgiving us and making us whole again, that through Jesus Christ, we no longer live in sin because of the love shown on us. And so we praise you. God of grace, you ask us to pray for the needs of ourselves and the needs of our neighbors. And so this morning, we come surrounding those who are sick in our church family, in our community, in our world. And so let us pray for the healing of the sick. Lord, our healer, heal our diseases and strengthen both physical, emotional, and other needs of the sick. For those who are caring for the sick, O oh Lord, we lift them before you, especially this time, those who have been infected with the coronavirus, those who are battling their lives in hospital, and those who are near at the bedside, finding medicine, finding care and comfort. And so we pray for the health of others. Lord, we pray for peace and justice in our community and in our world. And so we ask you, O Lord, who send peace to us and peace among the nations to bring peace in our nations and in our world. Help us to live in the freedom that the peace of Christ bring to us. And so, Lord, we come before you, lifting the peace and justice in our world to you. God of peace and justice, 
hear our prayers. Lord, we pray for those with our job, those unemployed, those who have the jobs to create so others may be able to find a job that they can go to. And so we pray that Lord who said you will provide the needs to us even before we ask you. Be with those who are anxious about how to feed their family, how to pay the bills, and how to care for their neighbor. And so we lift the unemployed and the jobless before you. Lord, who said the hands needs to tilt and the hands that needs to work, that we are able to feed ourselves. Hear our prayers. We pray for the essential workers, those who dedicate themselves in front lines, from the grocery store to the farmlands, to those who do the menial things that sometimes we don't think about them. We pray for them. In times like this, they are in the front of our lives. And so we pray that, Lord, you will continue to give them strength, give them wisdom, give an understanding of what they do for us who are the consumers to know that your hands are within whatever they are doing for the community and for the world. And so we pray for the essential workers. Lord, we pray for the first responders. We pray for the police officers, those who respond to 911 calls, among others for the troopers on the highways that are protecting us, for the police officers and others. For their safety, O oh Lord, you are the good shepherd who know how to protect your sheep, and so we pray for them. Lord, for the wildfire in the West Coast, People have lost their lives. People have lost everything. But it is you who will bring restoration. And so we pray that you will send rain to the West Coast to turn the fire off and help those who are rebuilding the lives that have been lost. Lord, be near to them in the rebuilding. Lord, we pray for those who are in the hurricane path in the south. The storms, it is you and your son Jesus Christ who are able to calm the storms and restore peace and restore calmness. Those whose lives and houses have been flooded, we pray that as you calm the storm, you calm their hearts as well. And so we pray that this storm too will pass and that you will help them in their rebuilding. For this, O oh Lord, we ask for your hearing to our prayers. Lord, we pray for those who have died this week, whether it's from coronavirus or whether it's from a natural death. We pray that you will comfort the loved ones who mourn such losses. And so, Lord, be with us. Lord, now we come before you in the silence of our hearts as we surrender our own intentions before you, as we ask you to be near and hear our prayers, we pray. Lord, you are always our strength in all things. We have lifted our eyes to you and waited for your grace, especially such a time as this, 
where we may feel we are in an unending wilderness. Send your Holy Spirit upon us as we draw near to you. May our prayers rise up to you as an incense, pouring your mercy unto us in the prayers spoken and unspoken to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Your kingdom come as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the peace that transpasses all understanding rest upon us this day and always. Amen. Thank you for joining us for this morning's prayer. We will continue our devotion next week. Have a blessed day.